Okay, the subtopic here is define an air gap, compare and identify procedures to keep it secure. Okay, first uh, we need to know what is an air gap. Uh, in this case, I prefer to use this image because it's more understandable. As you can see here is an uh, air, uh, air gap compiler. That means that, for example, someone wants to steal the data from another computer. How, uh, how that computer can do that? Okay, perfect. So uh, he can ask a friend of, of the a friend of this computer A to say, hey, could you uh, could you lend me for a moment your USB? Yeah, sure. Okay. So you can you can just uh, insert your computer and uh, put the malware, and I say, okay, go, perfect. I will give you the the USB. I give you a good video there. Okay, perfect. The computer A said, okay, let me check what you have. Okay, perfect. Um, I don't see nothing. Oh, okay, sorry, it was a mistake. Perfect. Could you let me again your USB? Yeah, sure, no problem. So go here again. And now, as you can see, now that the USB uh, is still all the important data that the computer A has. Uh, so how can I prevent uh, from air uh, air gap compare? Well, the first of all, we can just separate uh, in a different room the compare. So we will know that this one is uh, is insecure, is uh, the stealer. Uh, we need to isolate it. The second, it could be uh, just uh, uh, remove all the USBs that you may think that it will be suspicious. If it's possible, remove all the USBs. Um, another is turn off the computer if you will if you won't use it. Another is it's better to use SSD uh, drivers uh, more than uh, use a hard drivers. Um, oh well, obviously secure your data and give an encrypt encryption en encrypted. And I think it's all. So uh, I will stop here.